you guys, Cassie here, and today we've got an exciting video. Don't we, George? Don't we? You guys, you've all been asking for it, and I decided to save the best for last. We've got a 20 minute abdominal isolate video. Mm hmm. It's going to be so intense. Imagine uh, extreme abs and bridal boot camp abs all rolled into one and super long. You guys, it's 20 minutes long and these are your 20 moves. Now, lucky for you, I have decided that we get a mini break in between each move so you can reset yourself so that your form stays solid and fresh throughout the entire video. There's no point in taking no break and you just flailing all over the place. So each move is going to be done for 50 seconds and you get a 10 second break. Okay. All right. So prepare your mind. This is going to be amazing. And also I just want to thank you for letting me torture you through these isolate videos. It's been really, really fun, um, suffering myself, but also knowing that someone else out there is going just as hard as I am and really enjoying it. So before we get started, I want you to give this video a big thumbs up and let's go. Okay. So I have my timer. It's set to 20 minutes. And before we even start the first move, let's talk about form. Okay. Cause it's going to be pretty similar throughout the entire thing. Tuck your chin in and slowly roll down with control. All right, you guys. So, our first move is going to be the cross kick crunch, which if you remember from the 100 abs challenge, which by the way was so much fun, um, this was day two with Iskra. So one hand behind the nape of the neck, one hand out long. I'm going to lift up knee to elbow just like that and come down, okay? So that's all it is. I'm going to hit start and then there's no return, you guys. There's no return. You ready? Okay, let's do this. I've hit start. We shall begin very soon. Okay, elbow out wide, let's do this. You're gonna exhale up and down. Trying to keep your leg super straight. I do that by squeezing my quads. Another really important thing is that you're shifting your shoulder towards your knee. It's not just your elbow bending in, okay? It is your shoulder that is lifting, that allows you to work the upper abs. With the leg moving up and down, you're working the lower abs. And also, with that little twist that we're doing as we get up, because we're not going straight up, you're working the transverse abdominals. So, this is a triple whammy move, and just be prepared. It's gonna be a 20 whammy move, a 20 whammy exercise video extravaganza, you guys. Your abs are going to die, and it's gonna be amazing. Come on. Okay, this is your first 10 second break. Let's go ahead and bring the other hand behind the nape of the neck, elbow super wide. Foot long, hand long, get ready, and lifting. So same dealio here. I'm pointing my toes. I'm exhaling as I lift. I inhale as I lower, okay? Again, working to lift your shoulder, not just your elbow, as you lift up. And make sure you bring your elbow out super wide so you can see me every time you come down, okay? Good, exhale up. Inhale down. Beautiful work, you guys. I am so proud of you. You've worked so hard throughout all the isolate videos to get to this one. Because this one's the big kahuna. This is gonna be crazy. But you're so strong and it's gonna be fine. You saw the 20 moves. You'll get through it. You've seen them before. It's not like it's brand new or anything. It's just a new combination. Okay, all right, nice little warm up for your abs. You guys, we got roll ups next. So, feet together, toes pointed, heels together, arms long. You're gonna exhale, lift up, and then coming down, just like that, taking your time. Now, if it is difficult for you to get up, no worries. Go ahead and grab onto your legs, pull yourself up. That's totally fine. You can also come here and just pull yourself up as high as you can go, okay? It's all about you just doing a little bit more pushing yourself a little bit harder every time you work out with me, or every time you work out. Anytime you do anything, honestly. Just wanna exhale up, inhale down. Really lifting your chest to the ceiling. Almost there, you guys, almost there. One more. 
Okay, very good. Now we've got single leg drop. Recenter yourself on your mat if you move. Both hands in a triangle underneath your tailbone, making sure that low back is pressed. And we're gonna drop the leg and then switch, drop the leg, just like that. For the lower abs, I want you to make sure that your shoulders are relaxed into the mat. Make sure that low back is pressed into the mat. We don't want any little mouse holes underneath our lower back, okay? Everything should be pressed. Why? So that you don't hurt your hip flexors. So you know how sometimes when you do a lot of lower ab workouts and then you're like, ow, why do my hip flexors hurt so much? It's because you're not able to engage the correct muscle because something else is just not in the right position. Usually it's the lower back. So just make sure that your low back is pressed into the mat and you feel it in the right place. Even if your legs are bent, they don't have to be straight like mine. But if you're in the right position, you'll feel it. Okay, 10 second break. Really good. Now we've got toe touches. So bring your legs up, okay? Uh, feet flexed. We're gonna reach towards the opposite side of our foot. Toe touch, toe touch. Just like that. All right, you guys. Are you having some 100 ab challenge deja vu? It is happening again. So this is really working your upper abs. Flex your feet. These go by really, really quick, okay? And extend your fingers and your arms towards your toes, towards the sides, the blades of your feet. Good stuff. Man, you guys can't believe it is spring. I wonder how many of you are going on spring break or spring vacation. Um, and this reminds me too, Sam and I still have not gone on our honeymoon yet. I know we're so bad. I really should have gone right after the wedding. What a terrible idea that, to, to not do that. <laughs> okay, down. Okay, we've got crisscross. So I am somehow sliding off the mat. So recenter yourself, okay? Both hands behind the nape of the neck. We're gonna do opposite shoulder towards opposite knee. So even if my elbow is touching, and I'm gonna move this away, um, even if my elbow is touching, my shoulder is still the one lifting my upper abs, okay? We are taking our time, giving a full extension to that leg, okay? As we perform our crisscrosses. You're gonna exhale. So yeah, as I was saying, Sam and I still have not gone on our honeymoon. I really, 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 really wish we did right afterwards because I was such on like a high. And then I felt like that week I was just like really sad because the wedding was so much fun with all of our friends and our family. Um, and then I, I wish we had just continued, continued instead of like going back to work. <laughs> okay, so butterfly crunch. Okay, soles of feet together, knees wide. Hands behind the nape of the neck, you're going to crunch up and down. Super simple, attacking the upper abs. But we have been talking about it. Um, originally, we were like, oh, we should go right after Christmas, like New Year's, you know, that, that section of the year, because everything's pretty much dead. And it's like time is lost during that time, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we looked and everything was just so expensive. So we ended up not going anywhere. We just stayed at home. Hi, sir. Hi, do you want to give mommy something? Do you want to give mommy your margarita? <laughs> Look at his big old booty. Look at your big booty. Oh, no. <laughs> sir, what do you need? Oh, man, you guys. Oh, man. Looks like I'm giving birth to sir. Oh, okay, sir, you can't do that. You can't do that, it's so inappropriate. Okay, let's not touch this, let's not touch that. Okay, you guys, we've got butterfly sit up. So this time, you're going all the way up. You're tapping the mat and you're coming back, okay? All the way up, give sir a little hug and then come all the way back. Exhale up, I think he thinks I'm playing with him. Exhale up, oh my God, this is so cute. I love him so much. He's a little rascal, a little beast you are, like a little fluffy cloud. We just got a new brush for him and it works really, really well and that's why he's so fluffy right now. Aren't you, aren't you so fluffy? <laughs> you guys exhale as you go up, inhale as you come down, okay? <laughs> why, why are you so angry, why? 
Okay, good. Now you guys, we got double leg lifts, okay? Heading back into those lower abs. So your choice, you can do it with the hands underneath the tailbone or lift it up. <laughs> so you guys, all the way up, hands behind the nape and the neck, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come down to almost parallel and come back up. You don't wanna come too low or it's gonna hurt your neck. I mean, sorry, you, if you don't wanna go down too low or else it's gonna hurt your hip flexors. Hi, sir. Hi, sir, you like to be in mommy's video. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Okay, he's done, he's done with me. He's like, mommy's boring and not giving me any attention right now. Okay, so now you can see me. <laughs> Abs engaged, low back press into the mat, no mouse holes here, elbows super wide. Again, if you need to bend your knees, no worries. Just make sure that that low back is pressed and you'll feel the right muscles. Ah, oh, okay, very good. Next one, you guys, we've got your double leg stretch. So, you're gonna pull the knees in just like so, give it a nice little hug, you're gonna extend everything out. We're gonna come in, nice little hug. Your head, neck, and shoulders are lifted into that Pilates stance. With the arms reaching long above, and then you're gonna swim through the ocean and then hug yourself. That's what I want you to imagine, okay? Your head should feel like it's floating on top of your shoulders. It should not feel like a heavy mass that's weighing you down, like an anchor. Nope, everything's light, everything's flowing, and this move is gonna prepare you for the next one, you guys, which is gonna be star abs. But enjoy this while you can, okay? And if you need to place your head down, cool, do this, okay? Just make sure that low back is pressed into the mat. Okay, relax me for 10. You guys, our next one is star abs, and oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Your arms are out wide, your legs are out wide, you're a star, you're gonna lift up, hug, and then come out, hover, just like so. This reminds me of when I was doing star abs with Kenta, that was so much fun. You guys, I do wanna do another challenge. I'm not sure what we should do. I kinda wanna do an arms one, but like I'm not sure if people would be into that. Would you be into like a 100 arms challenge or something? I really gotta think about it. Um, I think people, they love their squats. I know people love their abs, but sometimes I feel like arms is hard to convince people, but at the same time, I feel like we all use our arms, everybody uses their arms, and I love working my arms personally. I feel like my shoulders are the first place to show definition when I'm working out. My lower abs are the last place. <laughs> and up, okay, really good. Okay, you guys, crescent crunch. So, feet on the floor, arms out, elbows out. You're gonna draw a crescent moon right here. So you're gonna lift up, coming down on the bottom side of the moon and lifting up, crescent crunch. Woo! Uh, these are slow. These are painful, and you gotta lift. You really gotta lift. Think about one of those boat, those huge boat rides at like Magic Mountain or any of those theme parks. You're gonna ride up one side and come down. Ride up the other side and come down. Oh, those rides are terrifying. When I was a kid, I didn't think it was possible for them to go 360. And then I think I went on one where we were stuck upside down and I almost, almost died. I hate roller coasters, I hate heights. Not my jam, you guys, not my jam. Oh, okay, really good. Next one, got Russian twists. So go ahead and bring yourself up. Your choice, you can place the feet on the floor or you can have them hovering. I think I'll hover for this one. Hands here. Touching the floor, lift up. Now the touch is totally optional. You don't have to do that. Um, you know, but I, I just wanna get some extra credit. So that's what I'm doing today. But if for you, going halfway is your extra credit, cool. Super cool, you're your own grading scale. Okay, so how we breathe in here? We're inhaling down, we're exhaling up. We're inhaling down, we're exhaling up. Very good, and keep those knees in. The more in you keep them, the more you're working your lower abs, the less you're making the hip flexors hurt. Mm -hmm. Good, keep going. We're down and up and down and up. Woo! 
Okay, very good. Now, cha-cha abs. So, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay like this. I'll go this way so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, leaning back to that tipping point, like so. It's a cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Now I'm gonna face this way so I can see you. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha, like that. One, two, three. My elbows are straight. Shoulders are shimmying. That's the only thing that's bending or moving down, okay? Your entire arm is a unit. I don't wanna see any bent elbows. Look at your elbows. Are they bending? A lot of times people tend to do this. That's not the same thing. Straight, two, three. A cha, cha, cha. A one, two, three. Lower, one, two, three. Nice, one, two, three. Very good. Dancing with the stars. That's my dream. And one, two, three. Okay, maybe one day I've been in the audience a lot and I love that show. Okay, uh, reverse crunch. So, we're down, hands down on the mat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up and lower. Exhale, lift and lower. And down. Now we don't wanna swing our legs too much. It's a small movement. Exhale and down. Pressing our palms into the mat so that you even feel your triceps firing up, okay? We're up and down and lift and lower. Come on. Up and down. Good, you guys. And also, try not to strain your neck. Relax the situation up here, okay? And down. Lift and down. You're doing so good, you guys. You're doing so, so good. Keep going. Exhale. Okay, bring that down. Nice work. Okay, next one we got rollovers. Okay, this reminds me of me and my friend Brett. That was hard. Okay, hands down, so same thing, except you go all the way over, touch the floor if you can, and slowly come down. All right, totally your choice. If you wanna to touch the floor, you don't have to, you can stop right here, um, but you wanna take your time as you come down. I don't know what's back there. Sir likes it, likes it behind that pot. I gotta check, maybe there's some food or something. <laughs> um, and also the other thing with this move is that you really wanna brace your core as you lift. It makes a great spinal massage as you come down too, which is amazing. And lift up, tap if you can, and slowly roll down with control. Let's do one more for fun. Up and all the way down. Okay, you guys, we got a regular sit up, a regular sit up. So feet hip width apart, hands long, and you're gonna reach up, okay? So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, hands across the chest, lifting up and touching the knees, or even harder, go right here, lift up, touch the knees and down. So I feel like because right now I don't have anything holding onto my legs, I'm gonna do the crossover version just like so. I'm gonna exhale, lift, and come down. But if you are by a couch or you have a, a random husband or boyfriend or sister, or brother, or mother, or father around you, have them hold down your feet just for this 45, I mean these 50 seconds. Whoo, up and down. Exhaling, lift and down. Whoo, how are your abs feeling? Feeling good? Okay, all right you guys. Next up we got plank. Right, okay, so I'm placing my right arm down. You can do this on your elbow or your hands, doesn't matter to me. I'll go on the elbow and we'll lift up. Okay, finally, I'm gonna stay still for a moment. So you guys, imagine there's some fire down here and you gotta push away from it. That's how I want you to do your side plank, okay? My feet are stacked, but you can also bring one knee down like that and hold it if that's what you want, okay? Go, so keep staying. Now, back onto the topic of the honeymoon situation. Sam and I were thinking, okay, either we do a like historical tour around Europe, um, or we do like a tropical tour around Asia. They're two totally different things, and I'm not really sure which one we should do. If you guys have been on either of those, please let me know your experiences in the comments below. 
Okay, I'm gonna prepare for the left side plank. So I'm rolling over onto the other side, elbow right underneath the shoulder, stacking the feet, lifting up. So it's super interesting, because when Sam and I were younger, we were like, why would anyone want to go on a historical tour? Like, we get that in school, like so much learning. When I would go on vacation, I really just want to relax and do nothing. But I think as we're getting older, um, I really want to feel history and I want to feel culture. And this may sound really weird, but I want to go to places and see things that make me feel small, like that make me feel like I am really the product of things that have happened before me. Because um, I think these days with social media, you just feel like you're the center of the world and you're obviously not, and I'm obviously not. So I just want to appreciate and feel those that came before me. Okay, you guys, this is the final one. This is the plank. So, you can either do these on your hands or your elbows. I'm gonna do the elbows because I feel like that engages my core more. So that's what I'm gonna do, you guys. Last 50, elbows underneath the shoulders, belly button in, okay? I don't wanna see you here. I don't wanna see you here. Nice, long plank, abs in super tight. So yeah, I feel, um, I, d I don't know. Should we do Asia or should we do Europe? But we're gonna do it, you guys. We're gonna do it this year. We gotta go on our honeymoon. It's gonna be super duper fun. And then maybe one day I'll do um, the bungalow in, uh, what do you call it, like Bora Bora. Definitely wanna do that one of these days. But right now, I feel like I just wanna learn. Wanna learn and just feel history. I love that. Okay, you guys, almost there. Belly button in, strong back, strong abs. Get through this now. Inhale, exhale. And relax. We did it! <laughs> okay, let's stretch out our abs. Both hands underneath the shoulders, lifting up. Oh, so good. Inhale. Exhale. Stretching your neck. So nice. Now, moving back into a dynamic child's pose and then curling yourself right here and one more time and curling right here so so good and go ahead and bring yourself all the way back into that child's pose inhale big exhale <sighs> Let's give her back a nice little twist, okay? Because we did a lot of lower ab stuff and that could uh, end up giving you some feelings in the lower back that you may not necessarily like if you weren't engaging enough in the core. So I am threading the needle right here, pushing my shoulder into the mat and twisting, using my palm to push and twist. Other side, thread the needle. Twist, so good, so good. All right, back into that child's inhale. Big exhale, slowly roll up with control. And give yourself a huge round of applause. You guys, we did it, we did it, we did a 20 minute abdominal isolation video. You absolutely killed it. We did some of the best moves from the 100 ab challenge and lots of classics. Let me know how you felt in the comments below. And um, also let me know where Sam and I should go on our honeymoon. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about going on trips is that I have to leave Sir. No, I don't like leaving Sir, especially on like international trips. It's pretty much impossible. Oh, little Sir, you don't like when mommy leaves you, huh? I know, I know, but maybe he can stay with his his friend or cousin or sister. I, I don't know what you call it. Denali, my sister's dog. What 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 is that relationship? I, my sister's dog. Are they cousins? I have no clue. Um. Anyway, you guys, let us know, and Sarah and I say bye bye, and we will see you next time. Okay, love you. Bye.